Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. Jason and I are on another big adventure. We were supposed to be riding down Baja Peninsula Lake this week. <laughs> Unfortunately, some life circumstances diverted us a little bit. Instead, we are riding the FAT. That's the Panhandle Adventure Trail. Now, riding across Florida, it's probably not as big a deal as maybe going down the uh, Baja Peninsula or Copper Canyon, which is another destination we were hoping to hit in Mexico. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we carry spare fuel. In the United States, you're usually not that far away from diverting off of your trail to uh, hit a little town to get some gas. But uh, running out of fuel in the middle of nowhere is not fun. So uh, we just wanted to show you a couple of little uh, tips and ideas on how we carry spare fuel for our big adventures. Up until recently, I've simply been carrying the Primus bottle. And uh, most of you are familiar with this, especially if you have a camp stove. Uh, Primus makes a number of different products, but this is a one liter Primus bottle. It is designed to carry fuel, uh, thus the big red color. <laughs> but it is uh, a convenient way to carry a little extra in case you run out. A couple of little things I don't like about it is that number one, you can't fill it all the way. So even though it says it's a one liter uh, container, you can really only put about 31 uh, ounces in it. So um, a liter is really about 34 ounces. So it's not quite full, so you're not maximizing your storage space, which is unfortunate. And the other thing I don't like about it is that even after you've emptied it, you've got to store that, that container. So once you've emptied that into your gas tank and are heading out to uh, refill and find some more fuel, uh, you still have to store that back in the same spot. So it, doesn't, uh, it still takes up as much room empty or full. So what we find to be a better solution is the Giant Loop Armadillo bag. If you watch Itchy Boots, you've probably seen her fill up a fuel bat bladder similar to this. And uh, so that's basically the same type of product. I carry mine on the top right here. The cool part about the uh, Armadillo product is that it does have molly straps on the top. So you can very easily attach it to the top of your gear. It's uh, very simple to put it anywhere you like. And the best part is uh, once it's empty, if you are not using it, you can roll it up. It's, uh, you know, completely malleable and you can uh, put it flat. I often carry it flat inside if I'm not actually using it with any fuel in it. Uh, it comes in a variety of different sizes, one liter, three liter, five liter. So there are different options for you depending on what size vehicle you're using it with. Like if you're using it for a four wheeled Jeep uh, Wrangler, for example. Um, for me, the, the one gallon is perfect size, plenty of fuel to uh, just top off the tank and get to the next destination. Giant Loop has really thought this out well. It is uh, seam welded on the inside and tested at the factory, so we know that there's not going to be any leaks from the bladder that's on the inside. Plus, it's got this really sturdy Cordura outer bag, so you're not going to have any worries about abrasion or leaks or issues from anything rubbing on the outside of the bag or ripping it. Um, so it's a very, very durable product. It also comes with its own little fill funnel. So I love this. You know, when you're trying to get fuel into your tank and it's spilling all over your beautiful motorcycle, that's not going to make you happy. So you can undo this, attach the funnel, and it's super easy to uh, then fill your gas tank. So that comes included, which is very nice, and it has its own little pouch. And it has a little uh, plastic cover over here so that the fuel that's in your uh, funnel doesn't get all over your stuff. Steals up really nice. Giant Loop is a sponsor of ours, and we absolutely love their stuff. However, this was a gift to me from our good friend, Frank Cohn. If you're uh, familiar with Frank, with Frank He's uh, on the YouTube channel as One Old Man Riding. He does a ton of great reviews and a really good uh, guy all around. Uh, you may have seen him on our latest uh, adventure through Nova Scotia. So if you wanna check that video out, he rode with us on that and just a, a super nice guy. And he gave this to us as a gift, which we really, really appreciate. So go check out his channel and subscribe to his channel. And if you haven't seen it, Jason also has a complete review of all of his Giant Loop luggage. So uh, you'll want to check that out as well. Giant Loop makes some pretty exciting new stuff. I'm still running the uh, Nelson Rig Hurricane bags, which are fantastic. Uh, nice product as well. Uh, but 
if you haven't seen Jason's giant loop uh, video, you should check that out because um, I'm pretty tempted. <laughs> so we, we may be seeing some giant loop stuff on my motorcycle soon as well, especially because I'm just super impressed with the fit and the finish and the quality of their product. So that's it for the giant loop armadillo fuel bladder. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have some tips and thoughts on how you carry spare fuel in case you run out of gas in the middle of nowhere, leave them in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you happen to have an armadillo and have had to uh, use it in some hairy situation where you were stuck, we'd love to hear your story as well. Leave that in the comments too. With that, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other cool videos that we have. Make your life an adventure, a long one, but just remember to carry some fuel with you.